The pallets come in with engines on them from other Caterpillar facilities and generator units from a OEM supplier uh, because the basic principle of what we do here is electrical generation. Once they are taking off the wooden shipping platform, then the engine and generator are married together in the assembly process, but they're put on a permanent uh, structured metal stand. So the wooden shipping platforms are no longer viable to be used again. I read a story in the, in the local paper about the city of Griffin going to establish and build a recycling center. Jimmy Hastings had called me uh, here from the Caterpillar facility and wanted me to come down and look at their pallet uh, wood waste material for recycling. Uh, so we met and once we got to talking about how we could do this, we were already doing a program with uh, tree material at our landfill with Del Walker. And because his uh, equipment is mobile, we could actually come here and we could set up and store material and then grind it here on site and ship it out. About once a quarter, we'll actually process the pallets that Caterpillar has. And um, this process, it generally takes about two weeks uh, to process what we've got here. And the end results is about 20 to 30 tractor trailer of uh, fuel wood going to an end user. Our main purpose is to generate steam to dry the paper in our paper mill. This system, burning the fuels we burn now, is putting less uh, nitrogen into the atmosphere than when we were burning natural gas. So uh, we started at that time producing a waste to energy product. And uh, it made sense, kept it out of the landfills, and that was our goal. But we can get it to the end user uh, in most cases within an hour or two away from the city of Griffin. So the best thing is to have good outlets for the material that you want to recycle or uh, dispose of. Probably 10% of the volume of wood is shipping platforms that have metal threaded bolts or lag bolts, uh, similar to what I have here. This machine has a uh, magnet at the end of the conveyor belt, and it does pull a portion of the metal out. What we are doing is partner with our local municipality. Uh, they have a recycling center available to them. So we are in the process of developing disassembly processes so that we can recover this metal material and potentially return it to the vendor, the OEM, for reuse, which would save us some dollars. The second thing is that we would actually be able to recover 100% of our wood waste and run it through the chipper at that point. We have uh, started hauling the cardboard here uh, recently for Caterpillar to our recycling facility. Uh, Caterpillar puts it in a compactor and uh, we pick up the compactor box and take it to our recycling center. Uh, and all that material is processed and shipped to Pratt Industries. We also contribute to that aspect of it, adding our cardboard into the recycled content that they utilize for their products. Our machines can handle anything I mean, it can handle a cross tie, and as far as anything you throw in it, that machine can handle it. It's a C27 series engine, and it's been a very efficient machine. There's actually a fuel monitoring system on this engine that was an application of the CAT dealership. Well, of course, downtime, that's number one, and uh, which we have very little downtime with a CAT engine. We've always bought CAT engine. CAT, is, it has a history of uh, durability and strength beyond any other engines that we found. And I feel like the CAT is uh, it's at the front of the uh, admissions and, and the, the new standard that has that's required. The support industry behind the scenes, so to speak, has developed to a high degree so that you can go out and find these people and build these resources into your process. We look at this as a revenue source for us. The material you pick up is also uh, a product that somebody will pay you for. It's not the same old, you know, pick it up, throw it in the landfill type of business anymore, you know. We're looking at it as a resource management instead of a waste management business. The city of Griffin has been a strong supporter and a promoter of recycling. We feel like that we're, we're definitely in the right business uh, and we're uh, not just the right business, we're doing the right thing.